Hi everyone, it's Claire back again. It's Saturday the 17th of August and I'm going to try to get this video up on the same day. Yeah, uh, please try to ignore my voice. I, I'm, I'm going to make it a quick video so that I'm not sort of speaking for too long. This is a small Rainbow Connection haul and this was I mainly went to Rainbow Connection to pick up a couple of polishes for Pony, for Polish Pony. I still have to figure out a plan of how to get these polishes over to America, um, but we both share the same birthday, uh, the 3rd of September, and it's a big zero birthday for both of us, so I'm sure Jen won't mind me saying, but she's going to be 40 and I'm going to be 50. I'm going to try and get these polishes across to Jen. Uh, but of course, while I was at Rainbow Connection, I ended up picking up a couple of polishes for myself. So uh, Jen already knows what I've picked her up because I am absolutely terrible at surprises. I'm not going to swatch them, but I'll show you the bottles. Anyway, let's see what's inside this package. Okay, so the two polishes that I picked up for Pony... Uh, and these are from a kind of most wanted list but this is Sakura from Emily Di Molly and there is actually I noticed this a couple of days ago in Instagram Nika at Nika's Naughty Nails had done a swatch of this but it is a beautiful Crelly a beautiful white Crelly try not to ruin the box here um, and it's got circle glitters a Polish Pony is going to absolutely love this because of those circle glitters and it looks absolutely beautiful. Um, if I can find that swatch that Nika put on in, up on Instagram, um, I'll include it here. That is the beautiful Sakura and hopefully it will find its way over to Jen. And this one here, it is opalescent water. Look at how beautiful those holographic boxes are and this one is so it's from Enchanted I'll try not to break the box and wow that is a beautiful flaky wow it's crammed with uh, opalescent flakies that is beautiful so opalescent water hopefully both of those polishes on their way over to Jen for her special birthday on the 3rd of September. So let's see what I picked up. I couldn't help myself. I needed to get this polish. This is a brand that um, I don't have. So this is the first of this brand for me. Just look how beautiful that is in the bottle. Can you guess what the brand is yet? It is Ethereal Lacquer. And this polish is called Moonlit Mist. And I do have... Some spare swatches here now when I was talking to Jen when I was uh, showing her the polishes that I picked up for her and completely spoiling the surprise she did say that in her opinion ethereal polishes are absolutely beautiful but very very sheer so this is the first time I'm swatching this um yeah it is sheer but actually it's not as sheer as I thought it would be We'll see what that's like on two coats, but that looks like a beautiful, um, a kind of blurple shade with, oh my God, just those opalescent flakies are absolutely fantastic. So I'll see what that is like when it's built up. Hopefully it'll end up looking like this in the bottle. Um, and then I also picked up a 9-0 lacquer. I just wanted to see what the holographics were like. Um, I did have a 9-0 lacquer, it was sapphire, like a full coverage, sapphire blue glitter, but it was a little bit too textured for me. So I thought I would try this one. It looks like it's got some gold flakes in there as well as um, a holographic. Uh, so let's see what this is like. This is Budding um, from 9-0 lacquer. Oh, right, okay, so it's not a holographic, it's definitely a flaky polish. And why did I think this was holographic? <laughs> I only picked it up to see what uh, Jessie's hollows were like, but this is a flaky polish. Um, is there a bit of, is there a bit of hollow in there? I don't know. 
I'm going to have to see what this is like when it dries on a second coat, but I do like the look of this. And you can really see those gold flakes just sitting on the top there. I think there might be a bit of hollow, but we'll see on a second coat. And I also picked up these two polishes here. One is um, an enchanted polish. And wow, I just love these boxes. It's bright, bright gold, yellowy gold. And this is called Sunflower Power. I picked this up because it was on sale and it's a, a dark gold yellow holographic. A sunflower holographic, which I'm hoping will be really pretty in the autumn. That just looks like pickle lily sauce to me. But I was definitely in the market for a sunflower yellow holographic um, and that looks like it definitely fits the bill and then finally I've got no idea what this is but it's a Cirque polish okay it looks like a green and this is called Aegean and yet yeah, this is a green a beautiful kind of um, forest green with gold, I think they're gold rather than multi-chrome flakes. So let's see what this one looks like. I think I bought this just from the swatch picture. It's very deep, um, almost, there's a little bit of blue actually in this green. I do like the Cirque polishes that I've got and that looks like a very pretty autumn green. I'm going to put a second coat on these four, um, especially want to see what the ethereal lacquer looks like when it's built up and we can come back and take a closer look. Okay, so here we go. There are two coats on everything apart from the ethereal lacquer that I actually had to put three coats on, but that's okay. It's definitely more of a purple than a blue, I couldn't tell on the first coat, um, but it is a beautiful, beautiful, oh, look at that, uh, opalescent flaky. So that is, so that is Moonlit Mist from Ethereal Lacquer, which is the first one for me from that brand. And this is the second coat, there's definitely a little bit of hollow in there, but it's also packed with gold flakes. And that is Budding from 90 Lacquer. I absolutely love the yellow, sunflower yellow from Ethereal. Can't wait to wear that in the autumn. And this beautiful green. So it's definitely kind of tipping into teal, this green, but it's absolutely beautiful. And you can really see all of those gold flakes just sitting on the top there. That's two coats of Aegean from Cirque Colours. So that's my little rainbow connection haul. Hopefully these two polishes will get over to Jen Polish Pony for early September. Um, let me know if you've been doing any shopping recently and I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching. Bye!